What's going on summoners? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at the best champion in every rank. Different ranks have different champions that excel in both high win rate and high pick rate. These kinds of picks dominate their respective ranks either because of their extremely high skill ceiling or simply because people don't know how to play against them. We're going to be breaking down what makes them so good at their respective ranks as well as going through a quick rundown on how you can best build them. Nonetheless, let's dive right into the video. Starting us off at the bottom of the ladder, we've got Swain Support as the best champion in Iron. In this rank, a lot of people lack many of the fundamentals in the game that allow you to play against powerful off-meta picks. After his rework, Swain lost a bit of his support power, but in Iron, he's still able to punish enemies with ease. Alongside his strong and bursty laning pace, Swain scales into an absolute monster that can dominate teamfights by simply walking towards the enemy. This simplistic playstyle and the fact that he can be hard to play against make him the perfect match for Iron Games. Now let's quickly dive into his itemization. For your summoners, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite for lane pressure. For your runes, be sure to pick up Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Presence of Mind, and Legend Tenacity. This page will give you a ton of early burst and damage whenever you land your E. Just be sure to set up your W before you pull so you can land E, W, Q, and an auto. Finally, for your items, you'll be building a Spell Thief's Edge, Leandris, Bladed Steel Caps, Rhylice, Zhonyas, and finish off with a Morello Nomicon. Before we continue on to our next champion, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. We offer tons of guides and videos to help take your gameplay to the next level. But if courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry, we have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the ProGuides family. Flipping us back into the video, we've got Singed in Bronze. Singed has been a powerful mid lane pick for many ranks, but he has been seen dominating Bronze lately. He offers insane wave clear, decent kill pressure, amazing gank setup, and can freely roam to help out his team. In order to counter him, you need to have great game sense and team coordination, which both aren't found often in Bronze. With this advantage, Singed is able to gain a lead and roam around the map to get his allies ahead. Plus, later on, he can easily dominate teamfights with his crowd control and AoE damage. Overall, if you're looking for a roaming mid-champion that requires little to no mechanical effort, then look no further than Singed. For your summoner spells, you'll be taking Flash and Ghost so that you can stick to enemies with ease. As for your runes, be sure to take Predator, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Celerity, and Water Walking. These runes will help you shove the wave and look for an insanely fast roam to another lane. Between your Sork Secondary and Predator, you can quickly appear in lanes before the enemy can react. Finally, for your items, you'll be rushing Rhylice, then building Swiftness Boots, Turbo Chem Tech, Demonic Embrace, Zhonya's Hourglass, and finish off with a Force of Nature. Moving on to our next rank, we've got Set Mid as the best champion in Silver. Due to his extremely powerful Grit Shield alongside his amazing sustain from his passive, Set can be hard to deal with for most mages. Pair this with the fact that most players in Silver don't punish melee mids that hard, and you've got a powerful champion. Not only does Set have some great wave clear, but he can easily win most skirmishes with his jungler. His strength only grows as the game goes on since he's able to dive into the enemy and disrupt fights. Overall, if you're looking for a bruiser that can 1v9 games, Set is definitely the champ for you. Diving into Set's itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite for your summoners so you have kill pressure in lane. For your runes, be sure to take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Unflinching. If you really need the extra CC reduction, you can take Legend Tenacity instead. For your items, you'll be building Frostfire Gauntlet, Merc Treads, Titanic Hydra, Sterax, Death Stance, and finish off with either Dead Man's Plate or Force of Nature. These items will give you a smooth power curve while also giving you a great source of utility. Pulling us into the realm of Elo Hell, we've got Mordekaiser Jungle in gold. With his easy yet healthy jungle clear, he's an incredibly powerful jungler to grab. Plus, he doesn't have the most complicated mechanics, which means you can spend more time focused on the overall macro of the game. Mordekaiser offers his team great lockdown on a single target, decently strong ganks, and can take objectives relatively early on. With how much kiting and dodging it takes to counter Mordekaiser, it's fair to say that you'll have an easy time. Overall, if you need a jungler to main or simply to pick up when auto-filled, look no further than Mordekaiser jungle. Diving right into his itemization, be sure to take Ghost and Smite as your summoner spells. Your Smite of choice will be Blue Smite, so be sure to take Hailblade as your starting item. If you're not comfortable enough with Ghost, you can take Flash instead. However, we strongly recommend Ghost so you can stick to enemies as much as possible. 
For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter. If you're facing a lot of crowd control, feel free to opt for Legend Tenacity instead. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Rift Maker, Plated Steel Caps, Rylice, Demonic Embrace, Zanyas, and finish off with a Spirit Visage. If you don't need the tankiness, you can go for Cosmic Drive for mobility or Rabidons for a ton more damage. Now, before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today, we want to ask you all what champion do you think is broken in your current elo? Personally, I think Rengar is really busted in Grandmaster. He's got powerful ganks and snowball potential, and it seems like every time he's played, it's only the best one tricks maining him. But that's my answer, and we want to hear from you. So regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comment section down below. Pulling us back into the video, we've got none other than Seraphine AD Carry, who is dominating Platinum. Seraphine has made her appearance in nearly every list we mention, and it's for good reason. She offers the safest laning in the game, some of the best wave clear out there, and provides her team with a constant stream of both DPS and utility. If you think Seraphine is only a support, better think again. She can dominate games by carrying her allies with her damage while also making sure she's crowd controlling the enemy in the process. Plus, she pairs great with an engaged champion due to her ultimate extending its range whenever it hits an ally or enemy. With her extreme safety and versatile kit, she is the perfect pick to help you climb in Platinum. Due to lack of dive timers and complete rotations, it's extremely hard for people to punish Seraphine. This means you can often scale for free and dominate the mid to late game. Overall, if you're looking for a powerful AP carry bot lane, look no further than Seraphine. Let's quickly dive into her itemization. For your summoners, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust to help peel off any bruisers or assassins that dive onto you. If you're facing a lane where you can permanently AFK farm, you can opt for Teleport instead so that you can gain the CS and experience advantage. For your runes, you'll be taking Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you a nice bit of early game poke while also providing free scaling. Between Gathering Storm and Magical Footwear, you get a ton of extended value with free items and stats. Finally, for your items, be sure to build Leandris, Lucidity Boots, Rylice, Seraphs, Zonyas, and Chemtech Putrefire. If your team needs the anti-heal badly, you can swap the order of Seraphs and Putrefire so that you can itemize it faster. Also, don't forget that with Rylice, your unempowered E instantly roots anyone who gets hit, so don't worry about using your empowered E anymore. Up next on our list, we've got Rumble Mid as our best champion for Diamond. Rumble has always been a powerful champion, but a bit difficult due to his overheat mechanic. That being said, with enough practice, Rumble can dominate the laning phase and transition his lead into a powerful teamfighting champion. In the mid lane, Rumble can constantly harass mages with his combo of poke and wave clear. If they ever walk too far from their turret, he can easily zone them off with his ultimate and go in for the kill. Plus, thanks to his high AoE damage, Rumble can easily dominate skirmishes and offers amazing dragon control. Overall, if you're looking for a powerful mage with a decent skill ceiling, then be sure to check out Rumble. Looking into his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. This will give you a great bit of kill pressure during your laning phase. For your runes, you'll be taking Arcane Comet, Nimbus Cloak, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Second Wind, and Unflinching. Comet works great with your Harpoon Shot since it's a single target ability, but don't worry if you accidentally proc it with your Flamethrower. Finally, your items will consist of Sork Shoots, Hextech Rocket Belt, Zhonya's Shadow Flame, Rabidons, and finish off with a Void Staff. If the enemy is stacking Magic Rizzes, you can swap the order of Void Staff and Rabidons. Swinging into our Master's Rank pick, we've got none other than Akshan. Ever since his release, Akshan has been a powerful pick thanks to his high mobility, great wave clear, and amazing single target DPS. He offers all of this as well as one of the best trading combos in the game. After his many nerfs, his popularity mid fell quite a bit, but it opened up new doors for Akshan top. As a high mobility and poke heavy top laner, Akshan can dominate many melee matchups. Champions like Darius, Aatrox, or Camille all hate dealing with him since he can easily trade 3 autos and then just run away. Plus, with a small lead, he can snowball and roam to get his allies ahead as he can clear the wave with nearly a single Q. Overall, Akshan is a difficult champion to get the hang of, especially mid-game. But if you can tame his power and master him top lane, he's easily one of the best champions in this rank. For your summoner spells, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite so you can pressure the enemy top laner. Since you're looking to constantly harass the enemy, you'll need the runes to match. For runes, be sure to take Press the Attack, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Shield Bash, and Bone Plating. Try to trade when your passive and shield bash are up for maximum damage. 
Finally, for your items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Bladed Steel Caps, Blade of the Ruined King, Rage Blade, and your choice of Wits End for Magic Resist or Lord Dominic's for Armor Pen, and finish it all off with a Guardian Angel. Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like yourself that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Our Grandmaster top laner is none other than Mundo Top. His insanely safe laning phase makes him a powerful blind pick for any top laner's arsenal, not to mention that he scales extremely hard and becomes pretty much unkillable if the enemy doesn't have a designated tank killer. Thanks to the high rank, your allies are able to play around lanes that can carry as you scale and play safely. Oh, and don't you worry, Mundo offers great damage as well, so don't be surprised if you pick up a few solo kills. If you need a hyper tank and are tired of picking Orn, you can dominate matches with Dr. Mundo instead. Diving into Mundo's itemization, you'll be taking Flash and either Ignite or Teleport as your summoner spells. More often than not, Ignite is best as it gives you great lane dominance thanks to your early damage. If you're in a losing matchup and need to get as much XP and gold as possible, feel free to take Teleport instead. As for your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, Magical Footwear, and Approach Velocity. These runes will make it so that you can queue the enemy and run up to them and proc your Grasp. Finally, for your items, you'll be buying Sunfire, Plated Steel Caps, Thorn Mail, Spare Visage, Randuins, and finish off with a Gargoyle Stone Plate. Last, but certainly not least, we've got Fiddlesticks Jungle as the best champion in Challenger at the moment. With Hecarim's buffs, we can quickly see him making his way to take Fiddles' spot, but as of now, Fiddle is significantly stronger. I'm sure you've all experienced it before. The Fiddlesticks one-trick with random characters for their name dominating your solo queue games with a 90% win rate. They often accomplish this by adapting their clear and using their high AoE damage to wipe fights. With challenger level knowledge, great Fiddlesticks players are able to dodge vision and constantly make the enemy worry about every angle. With even the slightest of leads, they can have constant vision control and won't let the enemy play the game outside of their base. He is truly every Squishy's worst nightmare, so if you're looking for a champion with a surprisingly high skill ceiling based on their macro plays, then you found your champion in Fiddlesticks. For his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. You'll be taking Blue Smite specifically, so be sure to pick up Hailblade as you start the game. For your runes, you'll be taking First Strike, Perfect Timing, Futures Market, Cosmic Insight, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes quickly snowball fiddlesticks and give him a disgusting amount of bursts as the game goes on. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Sork Shoes, Hextech Rocket Belt, Zonyas, Shadow Flame, Rabadons, and Void Step. If you need the magic pen far earlier, feel free to swap the purchase order of Rabadons for Void Staff. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.